Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits. And for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a rainbow dot canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. And so this month's canvas is actually a 10 by 20 canvas, um, which wouldn't really fit in any bag or uh, envelope. So your supplies are taped to the back of your canvas. They should be there. Hopefully you got them. Um, just some packing tape there. So here's our awesome 10 by 20 canvas. And then in your little bag, you have the standard six color paint pop strip um, in just a rainbow of colors. And then this month we provided two uh, round foam brushes. So one a little smaller than the other on some little dowels there. Additionally to what's in the kit, um, you can just go directly into your paint pots with your foam brushes, uh, but you may wish to grab a palette or I just have a paper plate here um, and some craft sticks so I can pull some paint out of my uh, paint pots. Uh, for our paint colors this month, we are making use of the Sargent acrylics that we purchased in the 16 ounce, um, and they're the spectral colors. So we have a spectral red, a spectral orange, a spectral yellow, a spectral green, and a spectral violet. Violet, yeah, spectral violet. Um, you'll notice our blue isn't in there. We actually, um, for that one, I have an Americana. Uh, true blue color that we used in the paint pots. So those are the colors. And just to get ready, because this is such a big canvas and such kind of a contained uh, project, I don't have anything on my surface right now. Uh, you could definitely cover your surface if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and do this on the canvas, but hopefully I don't get any paint on the canvas. So I am just going to take my paints and make myself a little palette here on my paper plates. Both sides of one stick so that I don't need quite as many. Hold that back up. Although I know I will definitely be getting paint on my hands at some point. But that, for me, is half the fun. All right, we've got our Roy, R-O-Y. And let's get our G, there's the green. Additionally, for this project, I'm going to use multiple foam brushes. Um, you will likely want to clean your brushes between colors, um, which may slow down your project some as it needs time to dry. Uh, or if you've got other paintbrushes and you just want to um, fill in, definitely pull those out if you feel like it. So we've got our purple. All right, there's my rainbow of colors. Just set my little paint pots aside. A little bit of yellow on my hands. Some paper towels, cleans that right up. <clears throat> so this project was designed as a rainbow. So we've got a rainbow of colors. I kind of went left to right um, doing the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet um, on my original sample. But then I came back through with the other colors. So red, orange, yellow, green, yellow, and green kind of get in there, blue, and then the purple. Um, I do like this. I think it's really cool. I did some overlay on some colors. Um, only one really got a little bit of a blend that I was not the hugest fan of, but not a problem. Um, for this one in the video, I think I'm gonna stick to a little bit more of the standard color. I could go so far as to measure out six equal sections, so I kind of know where I want each of my colors to go. Um, I could pencil in like roughly where I would like my design to end up, but for most of my videos, I do tend to go kind of just just go for it. So that is what I'm going to do today. So I am going to start with red and I'm going to start with my um, slightly larger foam brush and I'm just going to grab some of that red paint 
and I can see I don't have enough. Just want to cover that whole circle and I am going to start from here, but I'm going to do a bit of a uh, wave. So I'm just going to give myself some red circles, doing a little bit of a twist with my brush as I lay those down can fill back in where I might feel like my dots are not as um, full as I might like. And while this paint is still wet, I can come back through and do that. I'm gonna bring in some small red. I'm not getting too much paint on the little foam brush itself because I don't want to go kind of beyond my circle for this particular project. So some smaller, let's go one more right here. And maybe one more right there. Nice. All right, so there's my red and into orange. Do this, I'm gonna start below and also above. Go back and get some of that paint off. Um, as these paints are still wet, I can really manipulate those shapes, come back to them if I'd like. And let's go in close here. There we go. All right, so the larger of the orange. Let's do some small orange dots. And so for this project, I decided that I wanted to keep my colors separate and a little bit more into that kind of standard um, rainbow color order. I could also do a gradient. You've got your paints you can mix. Like I can bring a little bit of the orange over, a little bit of the red over and mix those together and try and do one that's kind of a color mixture. Definitely experiment with that if you'd like. If you've got paper around, so here's kind of my orange red. Oh yeah. So there's just that little bit of darkening to the color that I can use in there. Get yellow. I think yellow, I'm only gonna do three big dots. One. Two, three, that one's got some bubbles, so we'll come back and give it another round there. Some little dots bouncing my brush on. If I want to wear, to see a little bit more of the white of the canvas through, it might be a little tough on the yellow to tell. If that's what I'm doing there. Now these, I think, didn't quite get as circular as I wanted the dots to be, so I am gonna come back through and do my little twist method to get more of that circular shape. There we go. All right, green. Oh yeah, but I want that to be a real good circle. Two, three, four. And actually kind of where I'm coming to now, I thought I was thinking I would make a wave shape, but I probably should have brought this yellow, started it down rather than here. I may end up with more something a little bit closer to a traditional um, arch for the rainbow, which is totally fine. But I like green dot. Smaller green, not light green. If you've got some white paint around, you could also, um, not really dilute, but lighten your colors a little bit. And that might be a way to add a, your own little extra touch to this project. Let's get some blue. The blue, when I just do a real quick dotting. I do see that white of the canvas underneath, but I do like that kind of unfinished, not quite exacting look there. So almost as a stamp with the foam stamp, 
stamping. You have that change every time you have a little less paint on your brush. So I like that one there, but I want to make a real cool one there. Twisting. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna come down a little. Okay, one more color. decide that I want to end here so I'm gonna actually start from my right to left with this final color oh perfect I'm getting such good circles with this purple you know what I don't want to go up there let's keep that here I might just drop that right into the orange paint that's all right now I'm a little heavy on the paint here let's see what that does when I come down on my canvas that makes a very much less circular. I've got a, a fair amount of paint kind of pulled here along the edge. So I was right that I really kind of want a little less paint, not a huge amount, just a good coverage on my foam brush there so that when I drop those circles down, I'm not leaving a big pool of extra paint that's gonna cause it to be a little less than the dot I'm hoping for for this project. All right, so we're gonna go at 11 minutes here for our video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there in my kind of more traditional, I say call it there as I grab the red because I, I really feel like I've got a good size, pretty symmetrical here, but I'm missing a little something here. As, so just changing for my kind of initial design as I was thinking when I was first putting down my red dots, I'm gonna fill in that space and get us a little bit more of that tradition. Oh, I really like that. Something like this, I might even, once it's dry, choose a um, vinyl decal to add over it. There's a lot of white space um, that you could really just be super creative and do all kinds of things with. Um, as always, thank you for watching. We hope you give these techniques a try, and we always look forward to seeing any of your Canvas projects uh, shared with us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next month.